You know what time it is. It is Sensei at Popcorn and Pork Rinds, and it is Storytime Tuesday, where I read a story and you continue it. So hopefully you guys uh, join in, because if you don't, I'm just going to go ahead and continue my own story. So what I'm about to read is something that I wrote as a continuation of my stepdaughter, but I can start it off here for the channel. What I wrote, I'm going to read it, and then somebody else sends me an email with their continuation of the story. You don't have to write a whole book. Just write enough, <laughs> but not too much. And I'll sift through them, and I'll pick the best one that I can actually read on the channel because we don't want, you know, some nasty, dirty, disgusting ones because, you know, it is kind of kid friendly for this section. So I'd like other people to join in and, you know, not have a, an age restriction. So I'm going to start the story now. Okay. Are we ready? The chapter's name is The Birthday of Sep. The year 1016. Another moon rises to light the night. A gentle cry heard off the way. A new elf was born. Such strength this one showed, bellowing a loud cry while clenching father and mother's hand. As the family gathered to rejoice another addition to the village, the dawn seemed to go joyous till it all ended that fateful night. A tear, a beast, a demon ripped through the small countryside. Screams of agony and fires ablaze. The family scrambles to leave their modest home as the roof begins to fall. A giant wooden beam descends, followed by the upper made of stone, leaves, and hardened mud. It was done. Mother and father laying there in their own blood, covering the floor as if a crimson river ran through their home. Ten years had passed. Now Sep, a small elf, making ends meet as a black Smith's helper. Y'all got that? Somebody, send me their portion of the story. Continue it. And I'll read it here on the channel. So, with that being read and we're all done, story time Tuesday, send it in. I'll leave the email below where you can contact, send that story, and I'll read it here on the Tuesday. Thank you for tuning in to Popcorn and Pork Rhymes and Sensei out.